Hi everyone, and uh, this is Viv. This is my first Facebook live. You can see I'm trying to get it to work. Okay, that's a lot better. So, um, I decided to do this Facebook live thing because a lot of people know I'm not really a video person. My thing is audio. But I've been writing a blog for almost six weeks now. Um, Sarah Arrow will be disappointed in me. I've been writing this blog to make this announcement and I just haven't been able to finish it. And I thought, okay, since I'm struggling with words on a page, maybe words from my mouth would help me get through what it is I'm trying to say. So some of you know uh, that I'm bringing Dream Corner to an end. So Dream Corner has been my my baby for the last five years. I was fortunate enough to achieve my dream, my lifelong dream of becoming a radio presenter five years ago, exactly five years ago. And five years later, I'm letting it go. And I think the reason why I decided to let it go, it, I think it, the process started towards the end of last year when I thought, okay, this is this is the time to really figure out what else I want to do with my life. And I didn't know what else. Um, I think Dream Corner had become a crutch for me. I was hanging on to it. All the th other things I wanted to do, it just seemed that, okay, I am going to hold on to Dream Corner. And then towards the end of last year, I thought, okay, fine, I may let it go. But uh, I didn't make that decision. I thought, 2016 towards the end of 2016 will be the best time to do it and sometime around February I thought well it's best I let it go now rather than hold on to it for another well 10 months as it was but um, I've decided Dream Corner is coming to an end and it's I, I, only, I actually did my last interview today today 26th of May and it was amazing it was with Julie Hall and Julie Hall happened to be my first guest when I started Dream Corner. So um, this video is just really to say thank you to all the women because there are lots of women on, on Facebook who I'm connected with who have been on Dream Corner and after 300 and I think 20 shows it's great to say I have had an amazing rise. So I've made a list of things um, I want to say. So lessons I've learned. And, and all this would have been a lot more fluent if I had decided to write a blog. But since I can't write it, I'm going to tell you my lessons. So the first one I, I learned after interviewing amazing women is it's okay not to know uh, some things. Um, but if it feels right, you should do it. If it doesn't feel, once it doesn't feel right, then it's okay to let it go. Having more than one interest is okay. And this is something I talk about in my last interview with Julie Hall. Uh, it's okay to have more than one thing that you're interested in. And I've only come to embrace that very recently. So um, I'm really happy about that. Don't take anything for granted. Uh, enjoy every moment and savor every moment. I remember being present for all those interviews. It seems, uh, yeah, you have four, you've done 300 interviews and you were present for all of them. I can actually tell you that, yes, I was present for all those interviews and it, it's been an amazing ride. I have had, honestly, I've, I think I've been a very lucky girl to have had the ride I've had to, to, to savor the knowledge and, and the experiences of, of amazing women has just been the best thrill of my life. I don't know if anything can ever top that, to be honest, but it has really been a, an amazing ride. And then the other thing I want to say is to give of yourself. I gave of myself everything that I had, I gave to all those interviews I did, and it really enriched my life to no end. And when you give of yourself, don't expect to get anything in return. And you do it because it feels good to give and you make the other person feel that you're giving out of joy. And that's brilliant. And then embrace who you are. Uh, don't You don't have to apologize for who you are. And that is brilliant. Don't apologize for who you are. And uh, because I, I just embrace who you are. So I won't go on about that. So this is now five minutes and I should be wrapping it up. So the last thing I want to say about Dream Corner is all the interviews are going to still remain 
on the website until I decide what it is I want to do with the content. Uh, I'm definitely going to be writing a book about the wisdom and all the people, you know, all the wisdom that these wonderful women have shared, have shared with me over time. And I would, I don't know if it's going to be next year, but I hope to, to do that in the next 12 to 18 months. There's so much to get through. Um, I'm really excited about the next journey I'm taking in my life. And it's really a, going back to my other first, my other love, which is marketing and seeing where that takes me. So if you stay tuned and, and you watch to the end, thank you very much to all, all the women who were on Dream Corner, Dream Corner. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. And thank you for giving of yourself and making my dream come true and making me, or would I say making me, but giving me the opportunity to be the woman that I am today. And it's only because of you. You you shared everything about yourself and allowed me to explore really who I am and who I am, who I am today. So thank you very much. Lots of love. And um, yeah, you, you know where to find me. Take care then. Bye bye. And if you watch to the end, thank you. Bye bye.